Okay guys, um, next thing that we want to talk about is, uh, let's get rid of that, next thing we want to talk about is um, caching. Now, caching is very important these days, and um, but up until now, if you wanted to have your ads changing on Click Missile, you had to uh, not use page caching, because obviously page caching uh, freezes your site um, in one particular mode you know so when you somebody calls up a page and that gets saved in the cache it's essentially frozen and you can't ch and you, and uh, WordPress can't change anything about the page after that until you clear the cache so um, this is why I've uh, updated click missile now to include settings to allow us to um, Include uh, use uh, W3 total cache with it. So what I've done is I've added a couple of new bits down here. Uh, mobile detection settings, and you see there's there's a drop down here now for tablet detection method, and it can either be uh, custom device list or mobile detect uh, script. Um, now, just as a side note, um, if you're listening right now and you can hear kids in the background, don't worry about that. Um, I've just been and brought the kids home from school and now they're just next door playing with their hamster. So just bear with me if you hear some screaming and shouting and excitement. It's the kids playing with their hamster after getting home from school. Anyway, I'll carry on. Um, so we've got this custom device list drop down here, or it can or it can have mobile detect script. So mobile detect script is the mode they used to have before. It was you uh, click missile was using a mobile detect script to dis detect the different mobiles. But if you select custom device list, then you can input your custom devices into this list, and then it will detect those devices. And there's a mobile detection method here as well. Again, you can either set from mobile detect list, detect script, or custom device list. Okay, and there's a list of devices here. Now, this list I've come up with here. This is um, uh, a list which is sort of a minimal list which will cover most modern uh, tablets and mobile phones. Um, it gets most of them, as far as I've tested. Um, I haven't stuck in all the ancient, old, um, the regular, really old mobile phones in this list. But you can get hold of um, uh, d device lists for those if you want them. Um, in fact, um, W3 Total Cash comes with a whole uh, list of those already built in when, it, when you uh, first uh, start it up. But anyway, uh, so what you can do is this obviously there's, there's tablet devices and there's mobile phone devices. So whenever how it works is that um, whenever uh, your site uh, click missile detects a device that matches one of these from um, its user agent, the user agent string is is a piece of information which the browser supplies to a web server when it visits when it visits and from that you can tell which device it is now the thing about this is um, user agent detection is actually quite tricky uh, I'm just gonna pause for a second okay where was I okay sorry I had to uh, go and sort the kids out <laughs> Right, okay, so as I was saying, the user agent string is supplied to the uh, web server when you when, when, when somebody visits, and what uh, click missile does is compares that user agent string against one of these um, one of these phrases. okay Now these phrases, um, you can see there's some, some funny looking characters in there. Um, these phrases use um, regular expressions. Just if you've never come across regular expressions before, uh, just look them up. You'll find plenty of stuff on the internet, and you can use a regular expression to um, try and capture uh, different combinations of phrases. So, for example, if I want to, if I want to uh, 
detect Android devices that do not include the word mobile, then I use this um, regular expression. It means Android without a mobile because generally Androids, Android uh, devices that don't have the word mobile in the user agent string are generally tablets or larger format devices. Um, but an Android, if, if something is just Android, Android and it has the mobile thing, it's just Android on its own, then the chances are that's just a mobile phone. Okay, I mean it's not a hundred percent correct, but the va it will capture the vast majority of devices that you'd want to uh, check for. And how Click Missile works is it it checks for tablet devices first, and if it doesn't f find a match there, it'll check for a mobile device. Okay, and then if it doesn't find a uh, match there, it just basically says. It's a desk. It's a desktop. Okay. Now, the reason why these two lists are important is because if you go into um, into W3 Total Cache, you'll find it also has a, sim a similar sort of setup. So, if we're just going through W3 Total Cache uh, here, there we go, and you go into User Agent Groups, it's just loading that up. <coughs> Okay, and you'll find it has this similar sort of setup. See, okay, so it's in in W three Total Cache. It comes by default with a high group and a low group. Okay, now W three to in W three Total Cache speak. What what it generally means by high is sort of high end devices. You know, like your iPhones, your iPads. Uh, sorry, no, not iPhones, iPads, um, sorry, I'll take a step back. With the default set of, setup of W3 Total Cache, it generally refers to, the high group generally refers to high-end phones, not high, not tablets, okay? And the low group generally refers to low-end phones, like the old-style phones, with which don't have the big displays, etc. Okay? But... What what I've done is I've I've claimed this high group as being for tablets, and I've claimed this low group as being for any phone. Okay, so what you can do is if you take this list and paste it into the high group, and you take this list and paste it into the low group, it will match the settings that we have in Click Missile. So you just I'll just show you the two. Okay, so that the tablet devices will match the high group. See? Okay, so so basically, when W three T three Total Cache detects a tablet, so will Click Missile. And what happens with W three Total Cache is that it generates a separate cache for each different device. Right, so it will generate a cache for desktop. It'll generate a cache for tablet, and it'll generate a cache for your mobiles. Okay, that's really useful if you've got different ad widget setups for each one. Okay, so that's why we need to do this. That's that's why we need to add these two these uh, sets of um, devices, the same as Click Missile. Okay, and I'll give you this list to cut and paste um, in the forum okay now you also have to tick this tick enabled and tick enabled and make sure the high group is first and the low group is second you can actually drag so you can drag these so you can reorder them if you want but you want the high group first and the low group second detected uh, same as because that's how click missile does it hey, tablets first Mobiles second. Okay. Right. So now it's also important that you don't, when you're pasting these things, you don't add any extra spaces in any of these 
regular expressions because a space means something in a regular expression okay and if you do add an extra space right when you're adding stuff into total cache you will prob you probably get an error 500 on your site and you'll have to um, you'll have to reinstall total cache so just be very careful with this because uh, total cache does not check to see if your regular expression is correct okay and if it's not correct it just crashes fortunately there's a whole heap of tips out there when uh, for you know w3 total cache error th error 500 and it'll walk you through reinstalling total cache but just be aware of that okay so so then effectively what happens is you've got the three cache you've got three separate caches so you can have your your widgets in three different states so when you're using your click missile uh, widgets let me just go into appearance widgets when you're using those let's wait for a second I'll just drop down so if you did decide you wanted to have separate ads for each one of these things then w3 total cache will have a separate cache for each one okay and that's pretty smart it's going to uh, really because obviously that will speed up your site um, by a lot by a big factor okay I don't know of any other um, ad placement plugin that allows that apart from click missile so I think we've got a scoop here okay so I'll just give you walk you through some other settings as well that you're gonna that you're gonna uh, need with W3 Total Cache for it to work nicely with heat map adaptive and uh, quick missile. Okay. Don't toggle everything on, we just just be selective. So toggle on um, the page cache. You want that one. Page cache method. Now there's a couple of different methods that you can choose from that are usually um, available. These ones aren't available because obviously I haven't got the extra bits installed on my server. But you've either got Disk Basic or you've got Disk Enhanced. Right. The difference between the two is that Disk Basic um, uses PHP to do uh, the redirection to the cache. So a visitor comes and then your PHP on your server goes, oh, this, this visitor, um, we're not going to do any processing. We're going to go and shove this person off to the cached page. And if you actually look on your server when you're looking at uh, W, when you're actually um, in W, looking at the W3 total cache directories on your server, you'll find there's actually cached pages full of HTML, just of the HTML pages of your site. Okay, so that's what the cache does. It creates HTML static pages. So, Disk Basic uses PHP. Then there's Disk Enhanced. Now, Disk Enhanced uses Mod Rewrite to uh, do the redirection. So it doesn't use PHP at all. It actually does a redirection through Mod Rewrite. So, so the good thing about Mod Rewrite is that it happens before um, before PHP does anything. Right? When as soon as you hit PHP, it puts a little bit of extra load on your server. Okay, because PHP has to do some processing, but mod rewrite is very quick, and it comes in before PHP, and it re redirects the person to the cached items without even using any PHP. So that's much better for um, speed, but there's limitations with that, and th that's the reason why I prefer Disk Basic. Um, with um, disk enhanced um, you can't use query strings okay so the query strings that we were using in Google Analytics we wouldn't be able to use any of those because it doesn't work with disk enhanced because uh, w3 total cache will not cache pages with query strings but in disk basic it will so all of those query string pages that you've been uh, you're setting up for your experiments will all get cached in this basic but they will not get cached 
with disc enhanced and you'll probably find that it doesn't really make that much difference to you anyway it might make a little bit of difference um, but not that much when you're finished experimenting you know by all means you switch to disc enhanced and have the the, 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 the total speed but um, there's other there's other things about disc enhanced which don't work as well as well and that's um, your 404 pages cannot be cached in uh, disk enhanced mode. Um, why is that important? Well, if you've got uh, rogue bots coming to your site, right, and they'll just try, they're just, just bashing away on your server looking for anything they can just like break into or whatever, you, your site's going to generate lots of 404 errors, right? And each time your site generates a 404 error, it's usually standard on a WordPress theme to generate some useful information about you know pages and posts and all that thing. That's all load on your server, right? So pretty soon, like a badly behaved bot can come through, and it can it can take your server down or slow it down. And it happens more often than you think if you've never looked at your um, never looked at the load on your server. If you just have shared accounts, you've probably never even seen this. But if you've got a VPS like what I use, you've got access to the command line. And you can see these bots, these rogue bots coming through, bashing away on your server. To, and they can, sometimes if they're really badly behaved, they could take your server down. Well, that's because they're doing things, making your processor work hard. Because maybe because your site's, uh, one of the things is that they're generating 404 errors, which takes a lot of processor. So you can't have that with disk enhanced okay that's why I like disk basic so make sure you've got that and have disk basic and then it will then you'll be able to have your um, experiments work properly minify you can select that if you want um, always select manual um, it can be a bit uh, minify can be a bit uh, tricky um, sometimes it'll, it won't it doesn't necessarily it won't necessarily work with the auto settings but if you do set it click on enable uh, on enable and then um, just do the manual minify settings and just click on the various bit uh, various controls and try them out until your site breaks and when your site breaks then you untick the whatever setting made it break okay database cache you can tick that one Object cache, you can tick that one. Browser cache, yes. Um, anything else here? Let's have a look. No, there's nothing on that page specifically. Else, let me have a look. I think there's some other things. Browser cache, let's have a look at that one. Browser cache is where you, you tell your server tells the browser to use its own cache to save a page for a certain amount of, amount of time. Um, I usually tick all of these things here, apart from that one. Um, yep, got that one ticked. And yeah, all of these ticked. All of these ticked. All of these ticked. But yeah, all of those things I ticked because I wanted to um, cache the site in a, the person's browser so I could get things really quickly, obviously from their local cache. Another thing that I like to set, and this is really important because it's not set by default in uh, W3 Total Cache, is the length of time before the cache gets uh, rebuilt. So thing about total cache is it has a gar what's called a garbage collection interval and that garbage collection interval by default with total cache is usually set at about one hour all right okay so but if you're on a low traffic site um, that's probably not that going to be that good for you um, especially in the day in these days when you've got loads of bots and uh, badly badly behaved hackers trying to uh, bash, bash into your site and uh, and taking up lots of bandwidth because that means every hour your site has to be uh, completely rebuilt in the cache so it would so it means that say for instance like the garbage collection 
happens, the cache gets emptied and then a badly behaved bot comes through and starts um, spidering your entire site. That means your your uh, server is going to have to work very, very hard as this bot tries to down download 20 pages at once. And your site will then have to uh, work very hard to um, handle those requests. But I set the garbage collection into the filter a really long one. I think it's about a week. Okay, because I very rarely on this site, it, things don't change very often. Okay, so it means it just gets changed once a week which is a lot better and um, I think that's about it so the main thing to learn is you need page caching on and you need to set up these user agent groups exactly the same as you do in um, click missile and I'm going to give you these lists if you want to add to these lists then feel free um, I've worked on this particular list to try and get it working for probably about, I mean, over a week. Um, it is very tempting, though, to try and you try and try and cover every single device and stick it in this list. But I don't recommend you do that because if you do, it will make your server work very, very, very hard. I mean, I've made I made a regular expression which covered just about every, every device you could think of and I stuck it in here and it worked but gee it made my server just slow down because regular expressions are quite hard work for the server to handle so if you do add to this try and be smart about it and try and keep it um, minimal I mean if you look at a plugin like um, like WP Touch that doesn't even have hardly any devices in it in fact, the device list in W3 Touch um, is almost, you know, it's, it's too minimal. Um, but I think this one's better myself. Uh, this one that I've just made. I think, it, I think it's a better list than W3, uh, WP Touch has. But you try it for yourself. Adjust it yourself. I've, I've tested it across a wide range of uh, devices on browser stack. And it seems to work across all the devices that are there. That's mainly um, iPhone, uh, you know, uh, iOS devices, Android devices, you know, uh, the newer ones, um, Opera browser, Opera Mini, um, and all those kinds of devices. Oh, and the win oh, of course, it's got it's got Windows and all the various flavors of um, op of Apple operating systems on there on browser stack in fact if you if you like testing your device your um, your site across a range of browsers then i recommend uh, browser stack because that's uh, great for testing um, although you gotta watch out because their user agent strings um, don't always reflect the real devices but give it a go and, uh, and 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 have a go with your caching anyway i'll talk to you later and uh, see how you go with that